हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी कंप्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड आर्किटेक्चर सब्जेक्ट एंड द टॉपिक विल बी रजिस्टर्स आई एम हिमांशी चौधरी डिपार्टमेंट कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग एंड लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो लेट्स रिकॉल द मेमोरी हेरार्की दैट वी हैव स्टार्टेड इन द लास्ट सेमेस्टर यू मे रिमेंबर द डायग्राम ऑफ मेमरी हेरार्की दैट वी हैव स्टार्टेड इन लास्ट सेमेस्टर दैट इज एट द बॉटम यू विल फाइंड द सेकेंडरी मेमरी for example magnetic tape then above that you are having main memory example ram above that you will see cache that you may remember that is the fastest memory as you can say then we are having register so there are some properties of this diagram that as we go up in the diagram the size gets smaller operations gets faster on these devices and cost gets increases and while we go down in this hierarchy and the size of the memory will get larger the operation will be slower and the price will be cheaper so from this we can conclude that the registers are the smallest in size as per the memory hierarchy these are faster in operation and these are the costliest in this memory hierarchy register is the topic of our today so what is register register is a memory device that is smaller in size and it is made of flip flops now let's see the definition of the register introduction to register now what is register register is a digital device that is very fast memory and what they can do they can accept store and transfer the data or instruction okay so register is a digital device why we are saying that this is digital device because it can store the data in the form of zeros and ones and you have already seen that this is the fast memory unit of the cpu and what it can do it can accept the data store the data and transfer the data okay now register is the group of flip flops so what is flip flop that could be the question in your mind so what is flip flop flip flop is a circuit that is used to store one bit of data or information it means it can store only one bit of data okay so if we are having n bit register it will have n flip flops in it okay revising it what is register register is a digital device that is fast memory unit and it is made of flip flops and flip flop can only store one bit of data it means if it is n bit register it will have n flip flops in it okay let's move to the image of the processor this is the uh, image in this these small blocks are the registers these small blocks so you can visualize registers these are very small in cpu but if you'll open the cpu you you are able to see the registers these are very small in your cpu next there are two broad categories of the register one is special purpose registers and second is general purpose register what is special purpose registers these are the registers which are not accessible by the user users cannot access access the special purpose register okay these are for internal processing what is general purpose register general purpose registers are used to store data intermediate result during the program execution it can be accessed via assembly language these are some of the examples of special purpose register these we will see in the next slide in details these are the examples of general purpose registers accumulator and data register we can take the example of adding two numbers in c so let me write the algorithm for that you will need two variables sorry third variable then you will do c is equal to a plus b and then you will print this c so this whole processing can be done with the help of registers now this a and this b will be stored somewhere this could be the registers okay then the solution of this before giving it to c it can be stored somewhere that can be done in between in between it means 
the result is evaluated the result is evaluated it will be stored in c but in between the data is stored in register then it is passed to c so in between there could be some delays and all so in between the data is stored in one of the types of register that is uh, memory buffer register and then later on it is copied to some other register that uh, will be for c and then later on you will print the c for printing the c that c must be with the main memory so we need to pass the value from register to the main memory that is also done with the help of registers only so special purpose registers are those registers which are used internally by the cpu general purpose register can be used by the user when we write any assembly code or we write any code because that code is converted to assembly code later on now our next slide is about computer components top level view so this is the top level view of the computer components so what are we having in our computer one is cpu then we are having main memory and these are all input output module representing okay so these are the register which are registers which are present in cpu pc that is program counter memory address register instruction register memory uh, buffer registers and these are input output address register input output buffer register and this is the execution unit so all of the registers lie on cpu this is uh, what are these arrows these arrows are the system bus which allows the communication between cpu main memory and io module these all three components can communicate among each other with the help of these system buses so this is the top level view of the computer components now next we will see some brief descript description of important registers we are having in our cpu now the first register is program counter what is program counter program counter contains the address of next instruction to be fetched from the memory now you can consider a program where we are having several line of code it could be any code so we are having various uh, instruction every instruction is having one address so what will be the next instruction that address will be stored in program counter okay it's like after one there will be two after two this uh, there will be three so three will be stored in program counter if we are on two okay now the next register is memory buffer register what is memory buffer register it acts like a buffer between two components which we saw in the previous slide so what it does it contains a word to be stored in the memory or sent to io units whatever word has to be sent to memory or io unit that can be stored in memory buffer register or if you uh, if it needs to be received from memory or io unit that word can be stored in memory buffer register next next is memory address register it specifies the address in the memory of the word to be written from or read into mbr so whatever word that has to be written on memory buffer register that address of word will be stored in memory address register next is memory data register memory data register contains the data that has to be stored on ram or to be fetched from the computer storage in some of the microprocessor this mbr and mdr are same but in some type of microprocessors these both are act uh, these both act as different registers now the next register is instruction register what is instruction register it contains the instruction most recently fetched or you can say it contains the current instruction address of current instruction okay next is flag register what is flag register 
depending upon the value of result of any arithmetic and logical operation the flag bits are become set or reset now you have done the programming wherever uh, you do if or else programming there you compute some arithmetic or logical operation that results some true or false this register helps in that next is accumulator accumulator is is the type of register which holds the temporarily temporarily operands and results of alu operations for example if you are writing print a plus b so where will be the result of a plus b accumulator is the answer accumulator will hold the answer of a plus b after the alu operation next is data register what is data register data register is used in microcomputer to temporarily store the store the data being transmitted to or from the peripheral devices so whatever data we uh, transfer from any peripheral device that is transferred with the help of data registers next is index register these register are used whenever you are doing something with indexes just like for example arrays or vectors in arrays the values are stored on the positions like array of 0 array of 1 array of 2 and these 0 1 2 are uh, represent the indexes of the values so these index register are used when this type of operations are executed next is one mcq read the question register is defined as group of latches for storing one bit of information group of latches for storing n bit of information group of flip flops suitable for storing one bit of information group of flip flops suitable for storing binary information you must be able to answer this question the answer is the group of flip flops suitable for storing binary information why register in starting we discussed that these are made of flip flop and if n flip flops are used in register then n bit of register will be that so the answer is the group of flip flops suitable for storing binary information thank you